and welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm the founder of QuestSource, where we build company vision solutions to help companies improve their process efficiency, reliability, and scalability. Today, we're going to talk about traffic data analysis and how we can improve and make more efficient this process with AI and computer vision. This is something done by traffic survey companies that have three main goals. They do data collection, data analysis, and reporting. The data collection is done on the road in different ways, either with, the, with some manual, with some person that is there to do the counting. It's done with sensors, and the third but most important and the one of our, our focus today is the use of CCTV cameras. Hundreds of CCTV cameras placed strategically either on cities, on roads, to gather all this data. The second step, data analysis, is to, using this data, understand the traffic volume, the uh, type of uh, the vehicles, the travel time, speed, and so on. And with all of this, then there will be the reporting to the client. There are mainly three different clients are government agencies that are responsible for the transportation planning and infrastructure development. There are construction companies that when their construction might impact traffic flow. And then there are the urban planners where they want to improve the management of the traffic in the city or they want to improve the safety. We're going to discuss in this video more in details everything regarding the second step, also the third step, which is data analysis and generating automatic reports. And for each step, we will see how it's done now and how can a software make that more efficient and automated. Let's go. We are now going to focus on each single aspect of data analysis and how these can be automated. So now I'm going to show you also some samples here from some CCTV cameras. The first one is the, and also the most common done by traffic service, the mid block and target movement count survey. This is either counting the vehicles that are passing over a specific line. So for example, if we take this, CCTV camera, we want to count the vehicles that are going to that direction and the vehicle that are going to that direction. So we draw a line and we want to make the counting. And of course, when I say vehicles, we can include also the specific categories. If we have cars, if we have tr uh, trucks, and then depending on the country, there is a different classification type. So that one is always customized based on the country. Some, some countries might have might need, or some type of service might need only two categories, like defining cars and bigger vehicles. Something, some type of server might need seven, eight, 10 categories. It depends on the countries and on, on the type of survey. But the concept is the same over a certain line, counting the vehicles that are passing there. And then for this is generated a report, which like by standard, it's usually 50 minutes report, how many, many vehicles pass in a 15 minute time in this specific area. This is not only for a specific line counting the vehicle, but it can also be something more advanced like in a roundabout or an intersection where we do not only want to see a vehicle, it's passing a line, but we want to understand how many vehicles are moving from an area A to an area B. Let me show you an example of how this would work. Let's now focus on this intersection, for example, this intersection has four different roads, so we can define four different areas. We have area, let's say this one A, this one is B, then we have C, and we have D. One of the goal of the service could be also understand how many vehicles and the categories going from area A to area B, area C, and so on, and understand all the movement of these uh, vehicles right here. This can be done, this is normally done manually, so analyzing manually the video and counting manually the vehicles, but now a software can, can do this more efficiently and more precisely automated. Let me show you an ex example of some demo that I have for the software and how that will work in our, in our real time. Uh, now I'm showing a demo from that specific CCTV camera we were seeing before. With the software, what we do is we select four different areas, because in this intersection we have four, 
four uh, directions like this and the goal of the software is to detect track the vehicles and then it will provide a report for this and the advantage of having a software doing this is that it's the same software can be leveraged for multiple cameras at the same time and it can be uh, everything can be automated because once we select the area then the software autonomously will do will do this work now what i'm showing you is a very simple demo of of how i created these areas but then of course everything it must be tailored to your specific solution normally here we will have the counting the direction of each single vehicle the transaction, so this, the movement of the vehicle will be saved on a database so that later an automated report can be generated with all this information. If the vehicle went from area A to area B, from area C to area A, and so on. So this is just a demo so that you can understand how the software will understand and work on this data. Let's now move on to the second. Speed and traffic survey. How this is done using the CCTV cameras? Uh, the concept is very simple. So it can be done in with different, like there is no specific placement necessary for the CCTV camera. It's important that we see two specific areas, like the starting point and another ending point. This is an, a, an area with a defined length, which could be as a standard 10 meters, 10 meters. And when the car is passing with the software, we will know how long the car took to do 10 meters so based on that we can have a good detection of the average speed of the vehicle and this again uh, would be automated in real time and everything will be saved for the specific vehicle in the database after this we have signal timing survey and this is signal timing survey very important to make more efficient the traffic on the intersection so let's move again back to the previous intersection we were working with so this is the idea to improve the signal in time to improve the efficiency and the traffic flow in the intersection with the use of a software that works in real time we can know if on each location we have vehicles and how many vehicles so if we take this for example how it works it detects that there is a car right here and it will send the signal to the traffic light to get green of course it can be improved based on the efficiency so if there are no vehicles the the light will not get green and the same will be depending also on the queue length of each of each location so giving priority based on the length of each of the area so or let's say all the traffic lights would be connected together to decide which one has the priority also knowing in real time the queue length of each single area and this of course can, can be done both for vehicles and also for pedestrians so if there are pedestrians it can be signaled to the traffic light if there are no pedestrians there is no need that the traffic light will be uh, activated in addition to this we have also the, the vehicle survey but also pedestrian surveys where we want to understand the count and the flow of pedestrians and this also can be automated similarly similarly for how it's done with the vehicles so uh, we have the detection of the pedestrian we can select some areas and see how many pedestrians are crossing that specific area on a specific time frame and in addition to this there are other type of service today i focus only on the service that we do with the cctv camera and with the computer vision solution that i show you today i hope that you got a lot of valuable information from this video please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about vehicle recognition the traffic survey and automation everything that that's regarding what we discussed in this video if you need such service to automate your company please feel free to contact us at pysource.com there is a button to set a discovery call where we can discuss how we can help automate your business this is all for this video see you in the next one